Welcome back to JS Madras. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do IDW in QJS. So we are going to perform the IDW for the given rainfall data. So you can see on the display, there are a lot of points, red color points, which is nothing but the uh, location of the rainfall station. And the number you on the, uh, on the top of this uh, uh, circle is nothing but the total amount of rainfall received during a year. So for example, you can see over here, so this is an location. So this is the rainfall station, and this is the uh, total of total number of uh, total amount of rainfall during an year. So let me open this attribute and show you how it looks like. And this is my attribute table. You can see that uh, the station name is being given, year has been given, and the rainfall amount is been given. So these are the three data which I have inputted in this shapefile so let me close this uh, attribute table and now we just uh, go and perform the idw you can see the option processing here we need to uh, enable the toolbox so that it will be visible over here and here you can find the option interpolation under that you can find idw interpolation you just uh, click twice if you don't find this over here you can just directly search it on this uh, search bar you will be uh, getting the IDW interpolation tool so now let us uh, input the vector file so our vector file is nothing but our rainfall shape file and here the interpolation uh, attribute will be our rainfall uh, let me open it and show you so you can see over here under the rainfall you can find the values the amount of rainfall received uh, during a year per individual stations that is what has been shown so that is why I have selected uh, in the interpolation attribute I have selected rainfall now we need to just uh, select the button plus and here in the type uh, let it uh, remain as points itself and we need to select the output extent so here I am going to uh, select the output extent if you have a shape file you can select uh, calculate from the layer uh, you can uh, put your study area shape file over here Otherwise, if you want to calculate for the entire uh, canvas map, you can uh, calculate it. Nothing but it will be calculated. The whole area will be calculated. Like this, the whole area will be calculated. There is another option where you can uh, draw the extent also. also. You can uh, select the option draw on, draw on canvas. So, I am going to specify for uh, how much of region the interpolation should be done. So, I have selected it. It has taken my extent. You can see on the four direction that it has taken my taken the extent. And here, if you want, you can just reduce the uh, pixel size. Uh, I am going to uh, stay with this uh, pixel size. If you want to, if you want, you can just reduce the pixel size. And now hit the button run and close it. So you can see over here the process has been come out. So let me put my uh, station on the top. Right? and you can see over here now uh, let us change the color for this uh, result go to the option properties and here we need to select in the render type single band and here you can select the color ramp as well so I have uh, selected this color ramp you can select any one of this following color ramps based on your need likewise you can select any uh, color ramp and here I am going to give equal interval and I am going to specify the class classes as 5 uh, if you want to increase the classes you can just increase it over here and apply it click OK now you can see the difference we have performed the IDW for the given area you can see the intensity of the rain uh, is higher over here uh, so the uh, blue color dark blue is uh, over here that you can see the spatial uh, variation of the rainfall so if you have any doubts please do ask in the comment section thanks for watching GS Madras goodbye everyone